Hey friend, in this video, I wanna talk about how we can nourish our bodies through food freedom. For so long, food has been the enemy, right? It's something we thought we needed to avoid or restrict or something we weren't allowed to enjoy, or so we thought. So with this food freedom training, I wanted to share how you can start to shift the relationship you have with food and look at how food can nourish your body from the inside out, how it can be something that fuels you and energizes you, something that helps you feel vibrant and healthy and something that helps you live out your life's purpose and feel sustained energy wise to do the work that you want to do in a day when we don't nourish our bodies we feel drained overwhelmed overtired and our mental health can really suffer so how can we begin to nourish our body through food i'll share three simple tips that will help you nourish your body today Number one, let's come back to the basics. Drinking water is one of the best things we can do for our bodies. And I know it sounds so simple, but it's often the simple things that get overlooked or neglected. So it's time to come back to the basics and honor our body with high quality water. I'm a big fan of our Berkey water filter and have been so impressed with how good our water tastes. We literally take it with us everywhere we go because it's that good. And I do not mess around when it comes to nourishing my body <laughs> and when it comes to water we want to be mindful of the quality of our water because tap water can come loaded with heavy metals like lead and mercury even plastic water bottles can be harmful because chemicals from the plastic can leak into our water which then gets absorbed into our bodies so i like to drink filtered water and also sparkling water from mountain valley it comes in this green glass bottle and has naturally occurring minerals that you're body needs to thrive and feel its best. I also like adding packets of element to my water for a boost of electrolytes and minerals. And then throughout the day, especially in the morning, I like to add chlorophyll drops to my water for that extra feel good boost. It's also super cool to know that even when you make hot tea, it's also a form of drinking water. Even fruits and veggies are hydrating and contain so much water that your body needs. It all counts. When your body is properly hydrated, every system in your body benefits from your skin to your digestion, your mental clarity, your mental health, your hormone regulation, and so much more. So when I think about food freedom, nourishing my body with hydrating water is the first thing I think about. It's such a low hanging fruit. And I even love the, this notion of like drinking more water because we're adding something to our diet. We're not restricting or taking anything away. Number two, Eat consistently throughout the day. It does not serve your body to restrict or skip meals. Even something like intermittent fasting is not something I'm a fan of because as women, our hormones and thyroid can get really taxed and stressed when our body is in a state of stress. If our body isn't properly fueled, it can stress our body and require even more cortisol to pump through our bloodstream in order to keep us going. If anything though, listen to your body and lean into what feels good for you. You know your body better than anyone else, so trust your gut and your instincts when it comes to food. I feel my best when I eat about every three to four hours, and I'll eat breakfast as soon as I feel hungry in the morning without giving myself a set time when I'm gonna eat and when I'm not gonna eat. But with all things food freedom, you are truly free when you're making decisions that are best for you, for your body, your goals, and your lifestyle. All right, number three, have a combination of fats, proteins, and carbs with every meal. Food gives us our energy. What we eat is broken down in our body and absorbed by our gut, and the nutrients in our food become the building blocks that fuel everything that goes on within our body, from energy production to cellular repair to fighting off bacteria and viruses. Food is medicine, and when we feed our body the nutrients it needs, our body functions and performs at its best. Combining fats with proteins and carbs at every meal is an incredible way to ensure that we're getting all the nutrients our body needs to feel its best. So fats are things like avocados, nuts and seeds, nut butters, oils like olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, and even butter and cheese are rich in fats. When it comes to fats, let's look for the highest quality fats we can find. For your oils, look for words like organic, single origin, and cold pressed. For butters, go for organic, grass-fed, and pasture-raised 
for cheese, let's opt for organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised, and even raw if that suits you. I love raw cheese. <laughs> I even add frozen avocados and nut butters like almond and cashew butters to my smoothies. Just make sure your nut butters are single ingredients, meaning that there aren't a lot of added ingredients into the mix. So just the nut and the salt is all you need. And speaking of nuts, nuts like almonds, walnuts, cashews, and Brazil nuts are great options for fats. And seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds, and hemp seeds are easy to add to meals. So for example, I add chia seeds to my morning yogurt, I sneak some flax seeds into my smoothie, don't tell my husband, and I top off salads and veggies with hemp seeds. And by the way, high quality fats are what keep you feeling fuller longer and provide that rich taste to food. When fats are added to proteins and carbs, it helps maintain a more balanced blood sugar level, which keeps your body from crashing post-meal. Carbohydrates like fruits and veggies contain so much fiber, minerals, and vitamins that your body needs to feel its best. It's nourishing to eat a variety of colors and enjoy foods that are seasonal. Proteins will help you also help you build muscle and feel energized without that energy crash. So adding protein to every meal is an easy way to keep your body feeling full and nourished all throughout the day. And friend, if any of that felt overwhelming, I want you to take a deep breath with me. Inhale it in, then let it all go. <sighs> when it comes to food, it's not about being perfect. The best thing you can do for your body is come back to the basics. Drink water eat consistently without punishing, restricting, or skipping meals, and combine fats with carbohydrates and proteins at every meal. Real whole foods provide so much nourishment to your body. And you know what else does? Breath. Breath is so nourishing, and sometimes it's not even about what we eat, but how we eat. A calm and relaxed body digests food best, so we're not gonna stress out about being perfect. Instead, we're gonna start small. We're gonna do our best, knowing that our capacity to do our best and be our best, that's gonna change day to day. So with that in mind, I want you just to pick one thing from this video that you wanna take feel good action on today because that's where the magic is. And feel free to share your feel good takeaway with me in the comments because I would love to cheer you on. And if you have any questions, I'm here too. All right, friend, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.